Pro Yakio Spirits on the PSP is amazing. It's almost up to par with the PS2, which makes it even better since you can take your PSP wherever you go, while you can't play on your PS2 on the go. Or you can, but it's more difficult. Though there is a downside. The PSP has slowdowns because in some moments it can't handle such graphics that well. But overall, it's amazing that during the translation, very little was lost. You don't have to get used to playing the game on the PSP if you've played Pro Yakio Spirits on the PS2, because you'll instantly be familiar with the controls. As for game modes, you get the usual you would expect from a baseball game, like exhibition matches, a career mode where as always you manage a team, the usual. They have different names like pennant mode, which is the career mode, home run competition, which will be season or grand prix. They have different names, but gameplay wise aren't anything you haven't seen before. Also it's nice that you can tweak how, le how lengthy a game should be, or you can tweak the ball speed, which is nice. There are also 7 AI difficulties you can choose in the game. You can guess how in detail you can customize your game. Though many complain that the PSP's analog stick can't reproduce the fidelity of the PS2's analog stick. It feels clunkier on the PSP. It's not the game's fault, it's the hardware's. But just know that even if the game looks like a PS2, there are some downsides too. The controls aren't as precise as on PS2. Pro Yakio Spirits 2010 was very well received. Reading reviews, I've seen many comments like, I have to take off my hat to the developer. Then, everyone seems to be happy that each year the rosters got updated but there weren't any other differences between the games. I haven't found any significant differences between the games, aside of the updated rosters each year. It seems that mainly this is the only difference between the games. Now I'm not that much of a sports fan to know the leagues in Japan, or maybe it was because of my poor Japanese skills. But I haven't found any differences between the games, aside of the updated rosters. Maybe some minor ones, like 2011 having more slowdowns, 2012 having longer loading times, but even this aren't nailed in wood. They are really minor differences and don't change the experience. So if you want to get the best, I think that there is no best. If you're Japanese or if you're a fan of this series and I'm wrong, please tell me in the comments. Overall the games are great. If you are into simulation baseball games, you should definitely try the games. They are amazing. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.